Stopping by, this is Truth Goddess Tarot 777. Hello, Sagittarius. Drink your water. The read today is for you, all right? The overall energy. And remember, Sag, like, comment, and share the videos. Support the videos. Uh, take a look at the Truth Goddess Tarot channel. I have two videos that were uploaded today. The Gemini read as well, which is your polar opposite sign. Um, and Aquarius is a video that was uh, posted today. So there's a lot of a lot of good information on my main channel. Please go support it. Now, well, the overall energy talks about somebody having closure, and that's you. Hmm. You sailed away, Sag. Hmm. Receiving what you need and progressing, arriving. So you're going to have someone coming in as someone leaves your life. Now, it looks like this person may have sailed away from you in a relationship, situationship. But whatever it is, this caused this person to be in grief. This could be you or somebody you know or somebody you think you know. They're, they're suffering. They regret, right? Now, it looks like there's growth coming your way. Hmm. Growth and abundance, Sagittarius, money, success, happiness, joy, love, peace, prosperity, growth. And it's going to be in the workplace. Wow. So the work that you're performing, because you're a workaholic, it says you're a workaholic. That's excellent. Says whatever you're doing, you're, you're putting in full time work. You're not even resting, barely resting. You're a workaholic. That means you're going to get there. Whatever it is you're doing, you're doing multiple things. You have your hands doing all kinds of things. You're working on your creative skills. You're, you're, you Look at the picture. This person is doing a mul multitude of things, which is going to end up bringing you a lot of money. And it's going to help you expand and help you grow. So that's excellent. That's a beautiful thing. Now, we have an emperor here, right? And this emperor... emperor is a boss. This could be someone that's, you know, successful, abundant, principled, you know, really serious about business, someone that has a business. This person is happy or, you know, happy to have a son, a child, looking to have happiness. But there was a tower moment that caused this person no longer to have the son, the joy, the happiness that they were looking for. And that's the truth. Right? That's there's clarity after a major transformation, a major change. This emperor was so sure that when they sailed away, hmm. Hmm, moving on closure. So this person closed out a cycle with you, or maybe you closed out a cycle with this person. But when they did, they did it because they were looking to have a happy family with a son, a daughter, but it's a son. So upon believing they were going to have a son, which is a son, a child, because there's a child on that card, they, they were trying to blend a family, but there was chaos and confusion. There was a major upheaval. There was a catastrophic moment, something this person didn't see. They now have clarity. They have a true understanding. It's a fact that whatever it was that they saw, it can't never be changed, right? Again, this this shocking news that this person received, it was something that they didn't want to move away from. It's something that this person, you know, now they have a new understanding about the situation that they are now in total regret and remorseful about, okay? This person had two cups behind them, and they didn't want to see that. They didn't want to move on to, to realize that there were some things that they had, they they were blessed with. And it could have been you, but they didn't want to see you. They moved away from you. Remember, they sailed away and left behind somebody that was probably giving them true happiness. And it could have been you. This person moved away from you. They decided that they wanted to juggle. They wanted to, you know, stretch their money, their resources to have this happiness. This is something this person wanted to manifest right? Maybe you were in this regret feeling and you had to move on after you learned this person was juggling. You manifested some newness. You manifested growing your business, right? 
I feel like you had and learned some mysteries about a situation. Um, you did your research. You're a high priestess, so you are very close to your ancestors in the universe. And I feel like they gave you instructions as to go forward to make, make a move, make plans to build your business, not look back. You know, be happy and content with looking forward to your new future because we're going to give you balance when you take a leap of faith and move forward. We're going to balance out your life because someone else decided that they wanted to take a, a chance to move forward. You made plans to look forward to find true happiness after realizing that this person was, you know, in the energy of being this boss and having a family behind your back. They thought they were going to have happiness. You know, I feel like I give these reads. I feel like this energy just won't go. This person or you, you 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 stood strong through it all. You you held it down. You walked away. This person after getting the truth, after learning the truth, they lost a lot of money. They were passionate about holding on. And in the end, they lost money, family, but all they, they lost everything. With the Nine of Swords, this person lost out on learning about this family that they were trying to create. It ended. A cycle closed out. A major change happened. Hmm. The death card. This person got trampled on. The, the death of the cycle with this person was uh, a major change. But in the meantime, you were growing and making your money and working on your skills so that you could overcome and end this cycle with this person. You closed out a cycle. There was a death to this closing. You walked away. You went within. You learned about mysteries again and judgment was called judgment is always there judgment is about fairness and truth right you, you're going to get new love so we're going to ask and find out some things what else does sag need to know yeah this this victim somebody was a victim could be you or somebody else but victim i really don't like that word but you renewed yourself after a loss, a transformation and change. You renewed yourself. You, I feel like this propelled you to becoming a workaholic. Some, some of you said this began to go into overdrive. You, you became a workaholic. All you did was grow your business. All you did was focus on making money. All you did was renew yourself after learning um, some things that were disheartening to you, right? You closed out the cycle. You're not looking back on the services of helping those that may have been disloyal to you. Now you're looking forward to only having great happiness. And you're going to get it because you're a workaholic. You're going to definitely have the abundance because you put in a lot of work. This person was a rat. Hmm. Someone working against you. Somebody's a rat. That was a card that came out before. So... That's telling me that the universe needs you to know that there's an energy of somebody that's just really a sly person that's the rat. I think I feel like you learned about it, especially in business. So shrewdness and resourcefulness in business. Hmm. So an emperor is a boss as well. So this person may have had a business deal with someone to have a son and a baby and that the it didn't work out to their advantage. It was a major catastrophe that occurred. Um, someone will gossip about your secrets. So you got this rat that wants to talk about your secrets. Do not be attempted to lower your standards. So Spirit is saying, do not lower your standards. And here we are with the crib. Wow, a birth girl conception of a child. So it matches up with this child. This person wanted a child very desperately. You feel something is lacking. Same old thing. This person is lacking because they don't have this child. <laughs> Disappointment in some affair. So this person was disappointed in an affair, in an actual affair. And now this person is um, 
in their head. There was a temporary problem. This is dealings in a relationship with a man. So this is you or somebody else you know that had a dealings in a relationship with a man. <sighs> this is also looking like someone will try to make you do something against your will. Maybe somebody, let's find out. That sounds like a bully. Someone was trying to cause somebody to do something against their will. Hmm. There's warnings coming towards you, Sag. But a change for the better is coming, right? So we see here that it seems like there's a lot of information out here, Sag. And it just seems to me that Hmm. So, it's about you growing your money and your business after some major catastrophe that occurred to you, which sometimes that can happen in life with people. It, it, it allows you to renew yourself. You know, it allows you to change. It allows you to be a better person. You know, sometimes people's life can allow you to kickstart a new opportunity for you, which again is abundance. I am limitless. I am a limitless being and I manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. So that's what you're doing. You are working hard, manifesting the money and success because you're putting in the work. Right. You're putting in the work. You're not holding on to any grief. You've you're not holding on to anything. You're very passionate about your work. You're putting in a lot of work. Someone is feeling, you're a perfectionist. Um, yep. You're serious about what you're doing. So let's clarify a word or two, Sag, and see what else. But I think this is excellent. You're cutting out the old. And you're, you've accepted a lot. Hmm. So somebody is talking about you and your shrewdness. So one core for the fox. So somebody was shrewd. Yeah, they're getting karma. Somebody was shrewd in some sort of deal, business deal. Hmm. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. So the person, this person was taken advantage of and they're getting karma. They had to withstand a lot of distress, mayhem that they involved themselves in. So the person they were dealing with was very shrewd when it came to this baby, this crib, this business deal. There was a lot of major things that happened to this person. They didn't see it coming. So, yeah, as I stated, they didn't see it coming. <laughs> this person didn't see it coming. They're researching. One card for the parrot. They didn't see somebody, people. One card for the parrot. So someone is telling all your secrets. Hmm. This is about protection. Somebody is talking about your secrets. They were investigating. Maybe somebody tried to... Um, this person could be looking up your credit or trying to find information about you personally, but it was blocked. This person has been working on you, trying to find out how much money you have, the type of money you're making. Because remember, you're a workaholic. So somebody is working to see how much of an income you have, but they're being blocked. You have some sort of security on your um, credit, maybe passwords. They were trying to, <laughs> somebody was trying to Find out information about you when it came to how you make your money and what type of work you're doing. But they had to walk away. They were blocked. There's blockages. So your alarms, your alerts on your um, maybe social media pages, you have a person blocked. Um, again, your private information. They can't just like Google you. They can't find anything about you. So they have to move away. This person was doing research on you. They were talking about it. Someone will gossip up about your secrets. So they're looking you up, but every time they look you up, they get nowhere. <laughs> this is a rat. This is somebody who can't get nowhere. 
So give me a card for the um so so we know about this person is getting karma for being shrewd, you know, as they were trying to cause a lot of chaos in your life, even in business. Okay, it says, do not be tempted to lower your standards. One card for that, for the Sag. So there's a multitude of stories here. We have the overall energy being an emperor who was paying out for a son. <laughs> it's like this person was paying for a fake family. That's what they were doing. This person was doing anything to pay for a child or family, whatever. While you were over here building your money and making money. And the, the blessing is... Hmm. There's a disappointment, and I feel like it has to do with this catastrophic moment. But one card for the rat, because there's a lot of defensive mad cards out here. You got the club, the rat. One card for the rat, and then we're going to move forward. One card for the rat. This person thought their life would be perfect. That's what they thought. They thought this person that they were dealing with was perfect. Oh, here we go. This emperor. This could be a man or a woman. This is the same card. This is somebody that's a rat. <laughs> what else? What else? What else about this rat? How does this, what does this rat have to do with uh, Sag? Tell me more. There's some news about this rat. You're going to find out something. What is the news? What is the news that Sag will find out about this rat? What is the news or what is a message there's a new there's going to be a message or some news about this person this emperor what is it specifically that they're going to find out hmm, hmm. this card keeps coming out okay so we have that this this emperor you're going to find out a new something new about this person and what you're going to find out is that this person, they were always in their ego. The fact that, that this person, hmm, this is somebody that, hmm, they were stalling. They were sacrificed. Or maybe they were sacrificing you. This is a person that was a bully. Hmm. They were avoiding trying to sacrifice a situation or you. Hmm. What were they sacrificing? What were they sacrificing? Clarify the hangman. Not. Okay, so they were sacrificing, releasing that they didn't know what was happening. That's what it was. They, they, this rat. Is trying to say that, oh, they they give up on trying to pretend that they didn't see. Clarify the two of swords in reverse. They're, they're, they're trying to say that they're not going to hold on. And they realize that the cycle is over. That, that the news is you're going to hear about this person being enlightened or letting go or realizing or looking to have some sort of empathy for holding on and not true not trying to see the truth about a situation or not coming to the realization that a cycle and, and that you are whole that you're complete that the cycle is over this person is realizing that holding on to you is it's kind of pointless and silly and stupid. They, they're looking for some sort of, <sighs> this person is trying to release the fact that they know that the cycle with you is over. That's the news. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, this person is trying to realize that Acting like they don't know that you have, you're no longer with this person or acting like they didn't see what was already out there. It's like this person is now trying to open up their eyes and, and not try to lie about things that were happening that they didn't want to see. It's They're trying to be 
getting out of their ego. They missed the opportunity by trying to be blinded to who you were and what the situation was, this rat. Hmm. They didn't want to change. They didn't want to see that they had an opportunity with you, but they just and miss great happiness with you. They this was this is somebody who was too stubborn to accept the fact that there could have been something special with you and this person, but they didn't want to see it. Now that they they were holding on to to um not seeing that you were probably a good person, that you had a lot of success coming to you. Now they realize that. They know that, oh wow. <laughs> Sagittarius was the true abundant person in my life. They were the only true abundant successful person and I dogged out the sad. So now I realize I'm getting karma for this. It's now like they're trying to avoid it, but you can avoid it. When they made this change to um, close out a cycle with you, I feel like this person did a lot behind your back. See, they will try to do something against your will. Who's that? Let's find out about that. Somebody. Hmm. Somebody, a club. Hmm. So you're moving forward and you're determined to have a lot of happiness because you're going to have your success after learning the truth about. Yeah, after learning. Somebody learned that what they were learning, it, there was no success. The things that they collaborated, they didn't have success. They took a leap of faith with someone, because it says here, hmm, someone will try to make you do something against your will. So this person was very determined to come towards you but they learned that they could not have success with you. Whatever it was that they were trying to do. Hmm. There was no success. When this person came toward you or is trying to come towards you, there was no success. And I feel like this person was collaborating with people, trying to affect your success, trying to go against you. And it, whatever they did, it did not, um, they didn't get what they set out to try to get. They're learning a lot about everything they did was to try to get you to lower your standards. There was no success in the games that this person was trying to play, whether you knew it or not. Hmm. Yep. So let's clarify the catastrophic moment with the tower card. So one card. So it's like said, you're on you're just working hard, you're working strong. Again, you're a workaholic. Catastrophic moment is on somebody as the beauty queen being adored. Hmm. Oh boy. So we have this there was there was a catastrophic moment with this uh, beauty queen regarding this older man. I imagine this person is the emperor. What was, hmm. This is a, hmm. So a past life, this person knew this past love that was out there dating a dating queen. This was the truth. This is somebody that they dated and the dating queen blocked them. That's, that's the truth because it flipped. But this mature man, you're the beauty queen. You're very adored by many and there's a catastrophic moment that happened with you and this person um, or this person, they were dating the dating queen from a past relationship or past life so there's two women that this person was dating hmm all right so let's just clarify oh this man here wow the dating queen hmm dealings in a relationship with a man so tell us about this relationship with this man this person took a gamble 
yeah, this mature man. Okay. This man was being blocked. What else for this man? Dealings with this man. This person was blocked. No success. This person, this man. What else about this man? What does this man have to do with Sash? What is it that Sash needs to know about this man? Dealings with a man. You have a mature man that looks at you, male or female, as the a beauty king or queen. One card for the man. What is it that you need to know? So you have a man that was blocked from receiving love. This person is offering you a love or want to manifest. This person wants to offer you a, a love, point out of a new start and a new love, but it looks like they're blocked and you're going to end up speaking the truth to this man. Hmm. This person lost a lot of money, blessings. Their money is being blocked. Okay. This man's money is being blocked. They're not receiving abundance in love or money. This is their karma. This person will not receive money, abundance, wealth, success. They won't receive that or growth. So you're growing. Your money is growing. Your business is growing. There's no communication between this person. This person wants to come and shower you with a lot of affection and love and tell you how much they care. But just know this person's blessings is being blocked, which was you. And the truth is, this is a person who didn't want to accept a love offer from you once before. So now you're not willing to accept this person. Right. So that's everything says now this person wants to see you as the dating, as the, this person went back to a past person that was a karmic. Yeah. And the catastrophic moment is this person sees you as the person that is perfect now. Maybe they always did, but they went towards somebody for passion. And it did it it turned out not to be what they wanted or what they received a lot of karma for um mistreating you. And now they're bittersweet because they lost you as a dating king or queen. That's the catastrophic moment that this person has come to realization that when they went back to this past dating queen who dates everybody, she's out there. That's a trick. This is somebody that they paid for services with. When they went out there and isolated themselves, they were too impatient to have a real serious relationship with you. So they were under this illusion that this dating queen would be everything that they wanted. So they persevered to have a new start with somebody that dates everybody. So now they have to accept the fact that all their blessings are being blocked while they're praying Everything what they were doing with this person was a facade. Yeah. Okay, so that's everything, Sag. The crib core, we know that's about a new start in a business or a baby. And a real baby. One car for the crib. You're going to have the abundance. So, something is uh, very difficult. Moving forward. The crib. It became a burden. Okay. So this son, this child, this person was betrayed. Again, trying to have a child in the celebration of this new start with a child for this empress was not something that was actually true. They healed from learning that they didn't have a child. There's no collaborating and celebrating with these people, this, this dating queen that they were so determined to have a, a son with. This is their justice. Balance has been brought to the situation because as the high priestess, the, the mysteries were resolved. The judgment is called on this person for you know fighting and trying to put you in competition. This person is divorced, no longer married. They were living an unconventional lifestyle behind your back. This person made plans or is making plans to try to quickly come towards you because they're broke. They don't have anything. They're, they lost their job. They invested 
in someone secretly behind your back. They were having sexual fantasies and sexual um, whatever. They were just doing a lot in secret. Um, now this person is paying. They were paying in secret having rendezvous with a dating queen to try to have a child, which I feel like you. this person may have overcome this and now they're trying to have happiness and you know start a new start a new beginning but i feel like this is your energy because we have the nine of swords you're in this energy where you overcome learning the truth and you have clarity as to what occurred this person is suffering because they know that their karma was to have a happy life with you and now they're feeling guilty they're all complacent this person is just sitting there the angels are protecting you and realigning you as you move forward and have all the hopes and dreams that you're looking for with a new foundation, a new relationship, a partnership with a king of pentacles, someone that's very stable, someone that you're going to celebrate with, with money, success, and power. And this person will love you. You're not going to have to play these childish games with this emperor. Yeah, you're going to have a happy, true family with this person. This might be, this is a past life person as this person was to you. So these two people, male or female, they were in your life in the past. And now this uh, 30, 31, 33, as I stated that, this is all new. This is a closing to a cycle. You're choosing this new person that is stable, that you'll have a true happiness and family and wealth and success because you're a workaholic and you're growing your money you manifested a Ten of Pentacles and this stable foundation with this King or Queen of Pentacles to have a balanced, true, real life, love and happiness. This, you two will balance each other out. Yes. So that's the read, Sagittarius. We're out of here. This person was very indecisive in this relationship with you. Yeah. And so they chose someone that was out here dating multiple people. This person paid out money to have a child, and now they're all fear and stress. They gambled their life away. Spirit is telling you, you're going to um, go on vacations. Just give it time. It's coming. So, uh, yeah, this person was dating a gold digger. That's what it was. This person was only dating, and now this person is stuck in their head as they were juggling someone as special as you. Hmm. That's the truth. So that's the read, Sagittarius. Thank you for stopping by. Bye. This person in closing um, said, this person got lost in the ruins of the past <laughs> when it came to when it came to relationships. This person gets lost in relationships. This person, this mature man, because <laughs> again, this is a past life. This person had a past life relationship with you as well as this person, this dating queen. This is a trick. This is somebody who gets caught up with someone that dates everyone and expects to have a great result. So your relationship was a past life or past relationship with a mature man and or a mature woman. You being the dating queen or excuse me. The beauty queen. You're the beauty queen or king. This person was dating a dating queen. She dates everybody, he or she. Opportunists, get money, get abundance. Or you could have been the one that is a dating queen at this point because you are focused on your abundance and your money. So take the energies how they resonate. But somebody dates a lot. And I feel like you are in this energy, possibly male or female, where you're dating. So these energies can fluctuate either way, dating queen or the beauty queen. So, But just know that the person that you were dealing with says they always get lost in the ruins of their past. Past relationship in this lifetime and past life. So this is deja vu. This person continues to do the same thing over and over. So that is the read. Thank you, Sag. Bye.